Oracle Scorpios. Welcome back to Peony Lore, where we help you to find the beauty in all things. Okay, so this is going to serve for the sun, moon, and rising sign of Scorpio for the period of July the 5th through the 11th. And as you can see, we have a lot of cards to get through here. Um, <clears throat> so, ah, I hope everyone's beginning of the month has been wonderful. Um, you know, July is very typically a pivotal month for a lot of people, regardless of where your particular zodiac is. Um, <clears throat> so it's one of the reasons I like to, um, and have been guided to break each of the weeks down. Um, and I think for August, I'm going to do an overall, and then I will additionally break each of the months down. But for right now, we're going to focus on these periods that are happening here in um, the July land. And we are going to go ahead and just jump right on into it. So I do have all of the cards listed in the description box below. And I felt that was important because I have been guided to switch up a lot of different cards recently. But we are still going to go here in with the uh, Sacred Geometry deck to grab the overall theme for what um, Muriel wants you Scorpios to know about. Okay, I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. I'm talking to Barbiel. Um, I just did cancer, so, uh, but we're, uh, uh, Archangel Barbiel is here for all of you Scorpios, and so this is um, the message for all sun, moon, and rising Scorpios. Okay, here we go. Put that little guy down over there. Look at this, Archangel Metatron's Cube, the All, and the Akashic Records. This is a creation card. This is card number 15, which reduces down to a 6. So this is about balance. <clears throat> and for many people, it's going to be about physical dollars, okay? Um, changing up what is going on in your um, finances, uh, however you receive your finances, okay? Now we're also going to go in with... Um, uh, a, a couple of different oracles um, to help support this card and so this is a gateway oracle here and then we're going to pull an earth magic deck um, to sit alongside this master card that's sitting up here okay so the gateway for our Scorpios what do we have almost ready I can feel it let me move this over to the side. Let's do it this way. Let's give it a quick, quick shuffle up and deal. Okay. So, <clears throat> Scorpios, we do have some significant astrology going on this particular week, as always. Um, so, as I'm shuffling, I'll go ahead and get into it. Um, we have a couple of big uh, things that are happening. Um, we definitely have a portal day, which is happening on Wednesday the 7th. It happens to be a 10-day from a numerological perspective. We also obviously have the new moon in the sign of Cancer, which is happening on the 9th, which is Friday. Okay, um, But here on Monday, uh, we actually have the balsamic moon in the sign of Taurus. And so security in itself is going to be an issue for a lot of people, whatever that security means for you. Um, thank you very much. And so it's it's something that's important for us to be able to get through. And so here's what we have. Miracles are blooming in my life. Expect miracles. I love this. That's six energy, okay? And then from the Earth Magic deck, what we have here, let's find out what we've got going on with Earth Magic. But there's obviously with you being a water sign, okay, they definitely want both of them. Um, there's a lot of additional sensitivity that's going to be hitting a lot of people. And it's not just because we're in the sign of cancer, but, um, you know, there, there is that. So I'm not surprised to see this, that grounding is the request for you Scorpios here. Um, and I include myself in that because you guys know that Scorpio is very heavy in my chart. Okay. So grounding, getting outside, there's a lot of energies that are happening right now. Just taking an opportunity to commune with the trees, commune with nature, receive all of the um, content that the trees want to be able to tell you, as well as receiving the information that's coming from some of the solar blasts that we're involved in right now and receiving those downloads and those upgrades and things of that nature. 
And then the second one was Sanctuary. So <clears throat> this deck is not meant to be read in the reverse position, but I will say this about that. You definitely need to ensure that you're getting outside and that you're grounding. And now Sanctuary can mean a lot of things to different people, but the way that I want to be able to make sure that I break it down is there has got to be some sort of some place, somewhere, something that you can do, even if it's your closet. I'm not even joking. For a period of amount of time, where you can go in and you can just take a breath. Do you know what I mean? Just kind of receive and do what you need to do with that receiving information as far as grounding. So if there is a special place that you have outside, um, maybe you have a she shed, something like that, make sure that you're taking time to develop what that sanctuary would be for you. And if you don't have a space that's already created for you, like your own sacred private space, this would be a great time for you to be able to try to develop what that, what that looks like. Okay. So, um, there's going to be a lot of um, dreams. There's a lot of heavy dream activity that's going to be happening on Monday for a lot of people. And so Scorpio, um, you know, all water signs, but Scorpio for sure, you're definitely going to be finding yourself being very sensitive when it comes to your, with your own gifts. There's a lot of heightened awareness that's getting ready to happen. What's happening on the 5th is it's the beginning of the opening of the portal for that 7-7. Seven, seven. So a few days before and a few days after um, is when you're going to really start feeling um, the energies. You're also going to be able to probably see um, a lot differently. There's a lot of knowingness that's going to come through. So a lot of your clairs are going to be enhanced. So for myself, I have um, you know, clairsentience, I have clairvoyance, I have the clairaudience, um, I have the claircognizance, and that stuff is just, it's going to be, I already can feel it, but I can already tell you that it's going to be um, a lot more heightened, especially when we get towards um, the end of the week. So, this week I'm using a different tarot deck. I'm using a deck called In Between Tarot, and I was guided to use this one because there's a lot of people that are in the middle of some big changes, and this deck actually is designed to show you the show you where you are um, uh, between two points within one card so I will take my time and I will show you the imagery that we have there okay um, <clears throat> on Wednesday like I said the seven seven portal day that we have here okay um, rubber meeting the road for a lot of different people it is an auspicious day for Gemini um, Aries Capricorn um, <coughs> Virgos are going to very uh, very much be feeling the energies of these as well. So if you have any of those in your chart, then make sure that you are taking a look at um, the other signs um, that are available to you within um, my postings here, okay? There's going to be a lot of significant transitions on Wednesday, and um, it's something that you should be able to pay attention to because the moon is going to be squaring Neptune, okay? And Neptune can sometimes create confusion for people. Um, it absolutely has a lot to do with your with your intuition. It has a lot to do with um, where you're at in your spiritual path. Wow. Okay, we got them in succession here. I love this. Um, and <clears throat> uh, Neptune is, you know, doing its little dance here, especially when it with with it having had gone into the retrograde period um, on the 25th period uh, of June. So we're still in it and what those things are supposed to be able to bring us, okay? When we get to Friday, okay, um, well, the other thing I wanted to say about that is um, that there's an opportunity with that, with that uh, square happening. Um, it's an awesome time to be able to finish up um, a lot of projects that you would have started. Looks like you got a bonus card here, so I really like that of this deck. The bottom of the deck here that we have <clears throat> is uh, the Queen of Swords transitioning into the King of Swords energy. So again, I wanted to make sure that I was explaining this. I'm going to just put this down here off to the side and <clears throat> kind of show you what this means. So when you have the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine showing up, and I've said this before, so the queens are typically the thinkers. They're the creators. It's the creation activity, okay? The kings are usually, um, whether you're male or female, the action portion of what's getting ready to happen. So think of, that, think of this as like a defensive position and where you are creating the magnetism in such a way that you are laying out whatever it is your foundation is going to be and then really pushing, moving from that feminine energy into that divine masculine energy of doing the damn thing, okay? So that's the, that's the bottom of the deck there for that card, okay? 
So, <clears throat> again, Monday's energy, balsamic moon in the sign of Taurus, security. Again, security is going to be an issue. So the card that we have here is the Seven of Swords transitioning into the Eight of Swords energy. Okay, so the Seven of Swords energy is really being depicted of the fact that you've made some awarenesses, you've come up with some awarenesses, you've laid down everything that you have, okay, and you have the position to walk with authority into the position of the Eight of Swords, knowing that you don't have to stay there. You've got a lot of thoughts that are going on um, because you've had to be in a very defensive position about something it is that is coming towards you, uh, something that is in your energy, for sure, for sure, for sure. It doesn't necessarily have to be um, air, uh, well, it is air energy. It doesn't have to be Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, but I am putting that out there just to cover all the different bases here. So the Seven of Swords sometimes is called sneaky information, uh, or sneaky, someone not having your best and highest good, but usually it's because that person is pro was protecting something, or there was a protection mechanism that was going on with that Seven of Swords. When you transition into the Eight of Swords, this is a pivotal moment now where you can understand that you don't have to stay where you're at. You've lined up all the things that you need to do. You've dropped all the swords or all the swords have been dropped. You have the capability at this point to manage and, and, and monitor your thoughts in a particular situation. Okay. Again, this Taurus energy that's coming in um, is, has a lot to do with security. So just put that information for where it is. But be aware that specifically on this day that there's going to be a lot of signs that are going to be popping up. And so you should be aware of, of those different signs. Okay. Now, as we transition into Tuesday, we actually have the card called the sun, which is obviously very, very gorgeous. So this is where we're bridging between this gorgeous sun that's showing up for you, but also the judgment card. And so if you can control your thoughts, if you can figure out where you're at, if you, if you understand that whatever was going on in the past was the past and that you've set up your defenses or you've set up your patterning or you've set up your plan, um, and in the best way that you could get that done, then there is going to be this gorgeous, this gorgeous opportunity because judgment comes right in order to speak to us about, yes, it can be very literal when it comes to making a judgment call, but the sun touching that judgment is saying that there's something that you had the, you, you were in the right frame of mind in order to have gotten to that particular point. And so while you're waiting for this gorgeousness to sit there uh, and, and come about you, you are receiving a lot of clarity in a couple of different areas to secure that judgment that you needed to make from something else that was going on, okay? And or the sun is shining on what would be potentially a judgment that um, has been made in your favor, okay? Now, when we get to this Wednesday, this portal day here, okay, this is all about transition on this day. This is an awesome time to finish up any hanging on projects. I told you before, if the universe gives us more than one opportunity to try to get something done, what we have here is the Nine of Cups transitioning into the Ten of Cups. So if there's something that you're hanging on to, that you've got an idea, you need to talk to this person, you need to go do this, you need to go do... This is an auspicious day for you to be able to get that done. And I want you to see how brightly the sun is shining on this opportunity here. This is naturally carrying over, which is why I love doing this. You can't, you can't make this stuff up. So the nine of cups is being, um, your, your wish is coming true, whatever it is that you put out in the universe now starting to manifest with those 10 of cups and those 10 of cups is saying it to you at this particular moment, it can be financial. Okay. Because cups definitely is emotional energy, but the emotions are often around love and specifically finance, anything that's putting you in a position to be secure. Okay. When we get into the Thursday energy, now we're transitioning into the Page of Swords energy um, in between what's going on with this Knight of Swords. So there's a little growth factor that's happening here. So this Page of Swords is something that potentially would have been coming from your past. There's definitely a message that's coming in, maybe something that you're reviewing from the past that you might need to bring into your forefront. But definitely that there's a message coming in and it's going to be coming in, it's going to be coming in extremely swiftly. So this is a moment to try to get centered with what it is that you really feel. Um, um, and I'm going to say potentially bringing an idea to like shine it up, to be perfectly honest with you. I think there's an idea for several of you out there that are going to have an older idea that you didn't have confidence in at one point. Now is the time to bring that thought process forward and then just watch how fast the message is coming and or you're going to be delivering a message to someone based on um, an idea or concept that you have. When we transition over into the Friday energy, okay, we now have the five of coins transitioning into the six of coins. That's what I was saying. 
Now we have the new moon in Cancer, and this is the awesomest time of the, the awesomest? <laughs> the most awesome time of the week to really start to begin a new venture, and it is going to be emotionally sensitive for you. So some of you are moving in from this um, five of coins where you were contemplating something and you weren't necessarily feeling that you were going to be receiving the benefits of what you were doing. You had this idea. Um, you were waiting for the right time to try to make that come forward. Well, now you're transitioning. You're at that period where you know that work has been done behind the scenes. You know that you've done the work. You know that you've done the things that you need to be able to do. And now the six of, uh, the, the six of coins is coming in here. The six of coins is actually a blessing card in a sense that it's going to be a little bit more than what you expected but it is going to be completely balanced giving and receiving this is a gorgeous 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 energy okay so <clears throat> now we get into um, Saturday's energy and when we get into Saturday's energy now we're at the four of cups transitioning into the um, five of cups moment now there is an offer Okay, there's an offer that either you're going to make or someone else is going to make and provide to you. And the only reason why there seems to be a little conflict is that there's going to be this decision that has to be made. And there's going to be a second in there where you go, well, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. I wasn't expecting this big gift to show up. So now what I would know, now what do I do with this? It's almost like it's too good to be true. Well, you have to watch out for that. You have to watch out for, for the opportune moments that come through to really be supportive of why they're there. And this five that shows up here means, yeah, you have to let the old stuff go now. Now you have to be prepared to step into this new future and you have to take this um, offer that's coming to you. And yes, something old has to change out of it. When we get into the Saturday's energy, what we have now is the death card traveling into the energy of temperance. Okay. So if you look at the symbology here, the death card is um, representative of the Phoenix, right? That That's here. There's this spot. The spot that you're at right now is forcing you to transition up. You're transitioning out of the old and you're moving into something new. And temperance is right here, back here. There's temperance hanging out, bringing in that gorgeous energy of balance okay whatever it is that you need is going to be balanced and things have been definitely being worked on for you behind the scenes if you haven't seen it that's where that fight wait the so five of pentacles energy was like you were waiting 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 things were being worked out it's not your time it's a universal time it's when things need to try to show up and this is a great opportunity within this big portal that's opening up here to really feel this and own that this really truly is your time now the bonus card that we got here um, on the Sunday, which is the day that Mercury trans transitioned into the sign of Cancer. So Mercury is out of retrograde as of this portal here on 7-7. And everything that it's doing now is it's pushing forward with a huge momentum. This is an auspicious day for inspiration. Okay, so this is gorgeous. So for you business owners or for you people that have um, gotten to the point where you're starting to make this decision about should I leave this job so that I can take on this new venture or... Um, however it is that you're working out when it comes to your mastery of um, your queen of wands moment. Again, whether you're male or female, it doesn't really moment. That's the generation of the idea of the new business. It's now having the foundation to move forward in that energy. So again, we've got the queen of wands tr transitioning into the king of wands. Okay, so you've got double king and queen that is sitting here. Um, so, you know, we had a lot of air energy here. Now we've got a lot of fire energy that's showing up in this area. Okay. So it doesn't have to be Aries Leo Sagittarius, but I'm going to put those signs that are out there. But now you've got this business mentality, this new drive forward, this new project. You're seeing it all laid out. You can see yourself creating this environment. You now have the vision and now you actually have the cash to actually start supporting yourself um, in an instance as well. So not only is a queen of wands sitting here saying, yes, we can get this done. Now the knight of wands. Uh, excuse me, the king of wands is coming in to say, yes, I'm pushing forward with this idea and we are going to make this happen. Okay. So that is really honestly some sexy, gorgeous energy, Scorpio. Okay. Um, <clears throat> well, I'm going to pull one card for each here with our white sage tarot deck, just to offer a little bit of support here for our Scorpio seven of, thank you, seven of swords, energy, eight of swords. Yeah. There was a decision. You had to hundred percent get completely healed, um, from your head and your heart area in order to come up with whatever this, this new, this new situation, you dropped everything, you let go of everything and you stayed in faith in order to make this decision. Okay. So whatever decision it is that you made, it was a very good decision because here comes the sun. All right. 
So let's get a, a clarifier on the sun into judgment. Woohoo! The hermit. Look at that. That Virgo energy. So, hermit, throat chakra. Okay? You have something that needs to be said here. And you have to sit down and think about what it is that you're going to say. I feel that there was a lot of content that was not being discussed with people here from the past. Um, waiting for this, this security moment to kind of show up, which is definitely showing up. But now you're being encouraged to utilize your throat chakra. The other thing that you're being encouraged to do is go within and listen to um, your higher self, which is why the sanctuary is very, very important. You have got to ground and you have got to get into a position where you can just be one with yourself be one with the universe be one with whoever you call into your own particular pantheon to support you um starseed you got to get this done okay just ask for the information that is for your best and highest good as far as next step and wait for the answer okay get into some nice meditation now when we get into this wednesday energy of this portal day let's find out what we got going on between this nine and this ten of cups please for our scorpio Anything at all. <laughs> Come on, Scorpio. This is actually a really good reading. I'm very excited for whoever it is. Oh, look at this. We got two. Yeah. Um, whoever this is that's getting ready to turn the corner here. Okay. I already told you that this is a very, very, very powerful day. Ten. It's a ten day. Okay. Which means that logically it's turning into one. A new something, something, something. This moon energy, this squaring with Neptune is going to be revealing a lot of content for you. This Hierophant energy that shows up here, okay, is talking about learning at this particular moment. There is detail that is going to come to you on this particular day. This Hierophant is actually talking about your heart energy as well. So your heart chakra is going to be opened up a little bit. I can see this for a couple of different people that are here. And you're going to be receiving a lot of content and messages that's going to help you receive this Nine of Cups moment, which will carry you forward into this Ten of Cups moment here in the near future. So obviously we already known that the moon energy is extremely strong. Okay, it's about your emotions and it is about your subconscious. It's, it is about secrets, but it's also about those secret dreams that you have, that creativity, that creative spark that you have. So there's a lot of messaging that's getting ready to happen on, you know, Tuesday, Wednesday's energy for you. Okay. Obviously, I would be remiss if I didn't talk about the different signs that are there. So uh, again, there's potential Scorpio that you are dealing with a um, a Taurus with, excuse me, not a Taurus, um, excuse me, that you are dealing with a Virgo or you potentially have Virgo in your chart, um, with the moon energy that we have sitting here. Um, it's very possible that you are dealing with, um, a cancer. Um, and then obviously with the higher fat that shows up here, it is very, very, um, possible that you're dealing with a Taurus at this particular moment, okay? Or the information from this balsamic moon in Taurus with regards to your security is going to be pivotal on this day. Now, as we get to this Page of Swords turning into this Knight of Swords on this Thursday, let's see what we have for Scorpio. Ooh, okay, yes, Eight of Cups. Um, the Eight of Cups knowing that again this thursday is the day that we're talking about finishing up any last projects that wednesday through thursday period it is kind of combined as this portal is open through that day to really finish up those last projects what was the last thing that i needed to do the depiction on these cups are not broken which is giving you the opportunity to really be clear did i fill everything else that i needed to do is there paperwork that's missing is there something else that i was supposed to do this is just kind of giving you a small review um, a window of review in order to finish up whatever that project might be for you could be anything honestly it could be anything did you put oil in the car i mean you know what i mean it could be anything like that did you send that email is somebody expecting something all right <clears throat> so now as we get into this friday energy with this new moon in cancer and they need you to finish this up so that you can transition into beginning and utilizing this new energy here okay what is it that's new that's going to be supportive for our scorpios here in the cancer new moon Ooh, thank you Ace of Swords. Okay, so <clears throat> uh, you need to be able to get something cleared up so that your clarity will be on point. And that's exactly what this is. The Ace of Swords would be the gift of complete clarity, but they need for you to really live here so that this card can turn around for you. I feel that there's another card that wants to come out with this Eight of Ace of Swords. Oh, all right. Here we go. 
Oh, there are few. Oh, hang on. How do you want me to proceed? All of them. Okay. Yeah, so you've got to be able to clean something up here because here's the Ten of Cups showing up for you again. There's a piece of information that you're missing. Please go back and be thorough with your paperwork, dates, times, events. Did you? Are you supposed to turn something in? Did you put your taxes in the mail? <laughs> it could be anything. Just think about whatever old business must be cleaned up. Take a look at your calendar, okay? Um, whatever it is, it would be clearing you up from some sort of old conflict. And then we cap this off again with the Knight of Swords. So it's... I said what I said. There's something that you have to do that's pretty important um, to help carry you into this next area. So there you go, Scorpio. Now, when we get to um, Saturday's energy, this Four of Cups, Five of Cups. All right. Offer. Now we're back at the King of Wands. Okay. So this King of Wands that's getting ready to come through, you have to be prepared, especially if you, this is entrepreneurial energy all day long. This is mo movement, creation, doing something, creating something. All right. Um, there is something that wants to come through and blossom for you very, 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 very quickly. You have to be confident in moving into your masculine side. Now, again, I'm a female, but I am very masculine when it comes to lots of different things because I'm a doer, right? Um, you have to be comfortable, whether you're male or female, being the doer at this particular moment. You've received a lot of information, and now you have to do the thing, okay? So King of Wands energy is coming through very, very quick very very passionate very very kind as well so you need to be able to take that with you let's hit this death into um, temperance energy <clears throat> so scorpio in your own reading right here and i know it's kind of an odd way because yes we do have it mixed with temperance but you're in and on the right path with these cards especially the sun card and you know you coming into your reading you are definitely on the right path your crown chakra is going to be lit up over these next um several days i can tell you like i said i can already feel the energies coming through and your your crown chakra is just going to be boop, <laughs> which is awesome um so when temperance shows up for us and it's that balance of kind of what's going on right the, a little bit of this a little bit of that it is balanced it's being it's asking you to kind of moderate make sure that you are excited about this new opportunity make sure that you are going to go all up all in with this opportunity but it's also saying with this big Sagittarius energy, this is throat chakra energy again. So there's a lot of communication that needs to happen from your lips at this particular moment. All right. Let's see what else we have here for our Scorpios. Ooh, thank you. Seven of Cups. There's no confusion. Whatever it is that you're going to need to learn, you're going to learn it. So uh, this card and this card basically have the same frequency to me. And that's because there's an idea, there's a piece of information that you didn't have um, or that they're trying to give you a heads up about that's going to bring you this ultimate Ten of Cups moment. When the Seven of Cups is upright, it is an abundance of blessings coming through, but it's also about sticking with the first saucer. That's what the universe really wants to try to tell people. Listen, you can have all of this, but let's put the plate on one saucer first, okay? You've done that now that the card is in the reverse position. You have learned, you have understood what it is that is the primary focal point that you need to stick to. You are going to get a lot of detail over this weekend. I love this for you, okay? Now we do have this bonus card, so let's get another look at this Queen of Wands turning into the King of Wands and see what else we have here, please. All right, we have two. I love it. Okay. So what we have here is the Seven of Pentacles. So the Seven of Pentacles is usually about um, the supporting. I love how the, you just can't make this stuff up. So the Seven of Pentacles sitting here right next to this Seven of um, Cups. This day A is telling me that the Seven Seven Portal Day is going to be extremely critical for you. It just absolutely is. Okay. It just absolutely is. This is the day of transition please, please, please find somewhere to be so that you can get the messages that are meant for you. So the seven of pentacles is about balance um, in that you don't, uh, how do I want to say this so it doesn't make it sound negative? <laughs> it's about balancing and it's about um, 
understanding that the seeds that you've planted, they're growing, baby. They are growing, they are growing, they are growing, they are growing. The only reason that the star is sitting here in the reverse position is because you are at this point where your desires have already started to come through to fruition and it's going to change a little bit. There's also for some of you a need for more water-based energy as far as your grounding so swimming salt baths um i don't know dance in the rain whatever it is that you want to do there's something here that is going to require another tiny bit of patience but there is healing that is in this particular card um meaning that you have gone through a lot of healing um in a sense i should probably put them this way there's a lot of healing that had to take place in order for these little baby buds to start growing okay going from the king queen of energy into the king of wands energy if there's a couple of more things that are coming but this is blossoming in a very great manner for you so i am super excited to see that Okay, so now I'm going to jump in with the Oracle of the Radiant Sun. Oh, they said I didn't flip this over. My bad. So what we do have here is the Ace of Cups that's supporting this King um, and Queen of Swords, meaning there is blessings that is coming towards you, okay? The other thing that I'm getting for some people, and I have to put it out there because they're telling me to be honest, they said, yes, this ultimately is the right card. Yeah, this is you um, with the death card next. And then, yeah, Wheel of Fortune. And then what's the next card that we have? Yeah, Nine of Cups. So um, because they're in this configuration, they did tell me to put it up in the upright. There are a lot of blessings and restorations that are coming for a lot of people. And obviously people, that means you, it, with this death card to change your Wheel of Fortune, some of you... I'm not trying to be your mama, but some of you with this temperance card as well need to manage your intake of certain beverages. I'll just put it that way. Manage your intake so that you can receive the clarity. Okay. That's what they said. All right. Here we go. We have drama. So we have Mercury um, showing up here with this Leo energy. Okay. Now, this energy is, they're telling me, prior energy. So this energy really honestly belongs into maybe what was going on in the past. Whatever was a dramatic change for you, I'm going to kind of bridge it right there, is done. It's all the way done. So you've got to just move forward, okay? And you're ready for it. Oop. Okay. Thank you. Charity card is the Cancer energy that shows up here on the 9th, okay? It, this is the energy of Saturn supporting, okay? So there's Charity. When you receive the Six of Pentacles, not only do you have enough for what it is that you need, but you have enough to dote on other people. Please keep that in mind. Um, yeah. <laughs> now, this is very interesting. So this is Capricorn energy that we have here, this next card. Um, with what was going on with Mercury. So somebody had a change in job. Somebody had a change in business that goes with where this dramatics was happening for some of you, Scorpio. Um, the restlessness energy that came from it, this Aries energy that was also in Mercury was created. You're getting rid of all of this. This is all the stuff that you've healed. This Gemini energy that's sitting here now with Venus is honestly more for yourself in the energy of not taking anybody's bullshit and like paying attention to what it is that's most beneficial for you at this particular moment so honestly this energy goes here um to be perfectly honest we're we're traveling into this five mentality where sometimes it can be a little bit of a pity party for people because you just walked into this big door of yes i'm going to get all these things and you're there's a little bit of freaky freakiness like like you like you're feeling like, what do I do with all this? It's just, it's nervous, natural anxiety when you're making this big transition, but make sure that you're doing things and you're not allowing people to like, you know, give you the BS. Okay. So the next card that we have is, um, Aquarius energy sitting here in the support position from where Saturn was. So Saturn also, um, is still in retrograde until October the 10th. So this is extremely important for some of you people to pay attention to that 1010 portal. The only thing that they're giving you a heads up about, okay, and that's where some of this additional healing is coming from with this star and the seven of cups with this ace of cups in the reverse position is you need to not be partying so hard and be overly eccentric. There's something that is coming for you on 1010 by 1010. Whatever you thought was going to happen, you have broken all molds of convention at the, at this particular moment. And this is gorgeous energy. This is, um, this is Venus's energy in Capricorn. So the best parts about Capricorn, like I said, is extreme, 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 
um, perseverance, okay, even when it comes to love. I mean, we're talking, hornet, but <laughs> your convention or for whatever it is that you thought you were going to be in is going to be completely different by the time you get to that date. So please take care of your body, ground, find a place where you can just be by yourself. And it doesn't have to be like you meditating for 15 hours a day. 10 minutes will really get the job done if you can get to the point where you can quiet your mind. Um, and if you're one of those that needs to listen to music, that's totally fine. Keep a pen and a paper next to you so that when um, your mind stops to chatter or the meditation is over, the first thing that pops into your brain is what you need to write down, okay? Whoop. Sorry. Let me, let's give that one more quick shuffle. All right, Scorpio. Healing angels for Scorpio. Thank you. Thank you. Be willing to forgive. Yes, I love that card. Um, and then Archangel Michael is also popping through. So the be willing to forgive, especially if you get to someone. Now, this King of Wands could have been a former boss. It could have been someone else that's coming in, which is why this page, um, come, uh, page of swords can, can sometimes be old people like looking over your shoulder. There's some information potentially that you're going to get in from an old, uh, boss or an old work situation. Um, be mindful of the flattery and the BS that would be gumming out of their mouth. But at the same time, be willing to forgive, especially if you had to go through an unexpected transition as far as a position was concerned. Not only do you need to forgive the individual, the situation and the circumstance, but you need to make sure that you're forgiving yourself. That's truly where the healing is. You've moved past it. There are miracles that are coming for you and just ask if you are angry if you are upset if you're finding that you're triggered with something else that you didn't do that is potentially related to this older situation that's here make sure that you um, are asking for peace in exchange for any of the pain or challenges that you had to go through at that particular moment you've come so far okay and then Archangel Michael just wants to let you know that he is also stepping in with you Scorpio and he's helping to protect and guide you through the situation and you are always 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 welcome to call on any of the archangels but archangel michael is here to really support you at this particular juncture it's a very critical period in time okay all right now we're going to go in with our angel guides for our scorpios to round this out it's this top woo thank you courage and bravery so the courage and bravery is really look at how far you've come it's an appreciation for what you you were here at one point you were there like there's no color in this card, right? There's no color here. It was a, kind of a somber type of a situation potentially for many people. Look at what you have coming for you. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this gorgeousness rising from the ashes. It took a lot of courage and bravery to get to where you are. And look at what's getting ready to happen. All of this blossoming is happening for you. This queen of wands, this king of wands, this like get her done attitude. What is mine is mine. And the universe wants to give it to me. What I want wants me. Okay. Now, <clears throat> we're going to go in with our Beyond Lemuria card. Scorpio. Woo, thank you. Okay. Scorpio, also, okay, so Cancer also got this card. We've got the Air card, we've got the Paradigm Shift, and we also have the Solar Plexus Chakra. Now, you watched me shuffle those. I don't normally get twisted off about it. I really don't. Um, I'm not surprised that those came out. There's a Paradigm Shift that you're getting ready to go through, um, and a lot of it has to do with your Solar Plexus Chakra, okay? Now, you guys watch me shuffle those, So, but for the sake of argument, I'm going to pull one more. There we go. <laughs> now it's your soul star chakra that's in it okay and what's going on with this soul star chakra is that it's very clearly saying that there's a merger that's going on with your divine at this particular moment so your soul star chakra sits above your crown chakra um and so it's this is where the contact and the conduit begins to happen with spirit trying to like bring that detail down to you so uh, we're going to basically own and honor these two cards because this is important um it's also very um uh, possible scorpio that you have cancer somewhere else in your chart or that you're dealing with a cancer um but yeah this is no joke this is the 10 so this is what's getting ready to happen for you on this portal day that's coming through here honestly your soul star is just going to go off the chart so so be in a position where you can receive, find that spot and ground, okay? So as we've done before, we're just going to go in real quickly and <clears throat> we're going to take a look at what Metatron's Cube wants to be able to offer you. Um, just real quick, 
let's see what we have here. Hey, and thanks for sticking around for this because I know it's kind of a longer one. I really do appreciate it. Um, Metatron's cube is the all in the Akashic records, okay? So, every cell within my body has now been awakened to the sacred geometry that has lain dormant within me. I can ex access the Akashic records of ancient civilization. This is going to be critical for you. Please, Scorpio, please, please, please understand how sacred this is. This mix, them telling you, find a spot, figure it out. Miracles are coming. We need you to ground. We need you. We're trying to tell you that you're going to have your crown chakra and your soul star popping off. We have something for you, okay? And if you're looking for a little crystal support during this particular time, any of the platonic solids or a crystal Merkaba, Danborite, or Morganite will be able to support you if you happen to have any of those crystals, okay? So Scorpio, I know this was a little bit longer of a reading. Again, I appreciate you sticking with me. Um, hopefully you were able to resonate with the majority of what it is that I stated. And if you did, please make sure that you give it a like and or comment and share this content out to someone else that you think would be receptive to the way that I deliver the information from spirit. If you didn't, that's totally fine. Just make sure that you're taking a look at your sun, your moon, your rising and your north node people. <laughs> um, to make sure that you get a full picture of uh, energies that are in front of you for this particular week. Um, and having had said that, thank you very much. Enjoy your week. Many blessings. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.